Well, for some reaction to the Stats SA Tourism data, we're joined by Tourism Business Council of South Africa's Chief Executive Officer, Matsatsi Ramawela. Thank you so much, Matsatsi, for your time today. Let's first get your reaction uh, to that data. Is this the experience of your members? Well, first of all, thank you very much, Siki, and uh, for the opportunity. It is Tourism Month, first of all. Yes. So uh, we appreciate uh, the kind of focus that is going to be given to our industry at uh, this uh, uh, month. Um, you're correct. The, the, this is uh, the experience that we're finding on the ground. Mm. Um, and I must say that it's amazing that we're all, you know, waking up now because we've been seeing this trend for the last two years, uh, that domestic tourism is, is going down. And we've been analyzing it because what we do as a tourism business council, we mm. produce uh, what we call a tourism business index uh, that measures the, the performance um, of businesses in our sector. And although it is uh, based on sentiment, it is based on people's forecast of what the performance is going to be like. It's, it's a serious measurement barometer because you're speaking to people who are looking at the forward bookings. Yeah. And they're then able to say, look, we're not seeing the next quarter looking great. And they begin to look at what are some of the reasons for that. Okay. And so this trend of the, the decline of domestic tourism, it's been something we've been looking at and we've been concerned about. And, and, um, and, and it's not only on leisure. It's also on business. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, Siki, there's, there's, uh, we can all say it's about the recession, people are feeling the pinch. It's one part of the equation. Mm. But the other issue is that, especially on the business side of it, is that, uh, you know, we're living in the technology age. So instead of you going to, to Polokwane, going to Mafiking, you know, I'm Skyping. Yeah, you're I'm Skyping. going to there's, do teleconferencing. There's also those business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and mm. you know, the other thing, you know, the cost part comes in where you start seeing people coming in and out. So pe you're seeing a lot of... Um, you know, people going, for instance, to Cape Town for the day. Yeah. So they rather go, go in with the early flight and, and then come in in the evening. So for us as tourism, you know, if you lose maybe on the accommodation side or the restaurant side of it, the car rentals are gaining, the airlines are gaining. Yeah. Hence, uh, a lot of people will be uh, pleased to know that one of the busiest uh, routes in the world, not in Africa, in the world, is the Cape Town Johannesburg the route. Johannesburg flight. Are you concerned that there's a possibility that SAA may actually reduce the number of flights? on that route? Look, I think, you know, the whole story about South African Airways, uh, you know, some of my colleagues have been saying, you know, what is the business council's position on South African Airways? Uh, they're one of our members, um, you know, a member of one of our airline associations. And you, the, the space of aviation locally or international, or, you know, let's also understand that South Africa is very much uh, open. Uh, there's a lot of role players in the market space. And so it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I think for us the issue is is the consumer suffering mm. um, with with the, if uh, SAA has to go out, which of course is not going to go out. I mean, government is going to want to, for all sorts of reasons. Uh, some of us may be emotional about the reasons, but there's other reasons that yeah. I think you know goes into business in terms of what happens to SAA. But the South African uh, sky and the aviation industry is one of the most interesting in, in, in Africa. You know, have a look at how many role players are in the market space at the moment, okay. and it's very exciting. So I think it, from a consumer point of view. I, I don't think consumers are feeling it at the moment. It really, it's really a lovely space uh, for where consumers are finding themselves. So let's talk about how you attract um, or you, you attract more and more of us South Africans to actually um, travel domestically and see our country. Often people complain and they say, look, um, I'd rather go to a Mauritius um, or a Zanzibar or a Mozambique because I'm paying exactly the same um, on flights, on accommodation, all of that. If I choose to go to Cape Town or Durban, how are you keeping us at home and making that more attractive? I think you've just uh, hit on the, 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 the problem, the dilemma that we're facing um, as an industry and as a country. For a very long time, you know, we have not reached out. And this is an acknowledgement that we as an industry has come to, to, to to appreciate and understand that we need to craft our messaging very differently because it is not true that it's cheaper to go outside. You know, it is affordable. I believe you, Sik, you know that. You know, you... you not it's, sure. It's, it's, I, I promise you. And this is why for Tourism Month, with our yeah. minister, with yeah. South African Tourism, you know, along this campaign of We Do Tourism, we really, as a business council, for instance, we're going to go into partnership with other role players yeah. to really bring the, 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 the other side of it, the, 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 the people behind the product offering, okay. so that it is not only the top echelons of our product that people are, are aware of, yeah. but it's also the middle product, and, 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 and that, you know, people should be able to... People want to go to the usual places. Yeah. You know, I want to go to Camps Bay. I want to go to whatever. But, you know, I, I look, for instance, we went on a holiday, yeah. last-minute booking last year. We went to Strand in Cape Town. I was in Cape Town. 
20 minutes away from Cape Town, yeah. and I promise the price that I paid, I was next to nothing. And so I think we need, to, as an industry, we need to find spaces where we can communicate these deals that are there, because they are available, yeah, you absolutely. know, and we must bring it to South Africa. And don't make it difficult for us to find them. <laughs> absolutely. I think that's the challenge yeah. we have. Okay. And, and you've got to understand, and think that it's not our business to communicate. Yeah. You know, our business is to deliver that experience for you. Okay. And so we need, that's why sometimes we always say, the media, we need you to, to, to join hands with us, because you know how to craft messages. Do you know how to reach South Africans. Okay. We know how to deliver the experience. Thank you for your time. Today, Tourism Business Council of South Africa's CEO, that's Matsatira Mawela. Now, hanging up corporate.